All right, guys, they're playing some Olaf top lane today. We're playing Olaf versus Gwen. And what we have here is Little Tempo instead of Conquer. We have a Triumph, Alacrity, Last Stand. They're also running Biscuits and Approach Velocity with MR in the bonus stats. Now we're finally back with the Olaf. Um, in case you guys have been missing out, Olaf has been a uh, really high win rate. Like, pretty much as expected. Olaf is still really, really strong. That's really changed. I've got the lead of tempo. I'm gonna win this one. Nice. Ooh. I could technically go with Ignite and just hit the auto. But uh, yeah, Olaf hasn't changed ever. Like, level 1s are still completely favorable for you. There's a lot of champions who actually struggle to beat Olaf level 1. And of course, like, the early game of Olaf is just amazing. That's all I can say. Um, as you guys have probably noticed, I'm actually running Lethal Tempo instead of Conquer. So usually Conquer is the way to go, but like Lethal Tempo is a great alternative. So if you're like, um, if you have Lethal Tempo proc, you can heal back really fast with the attack speed and damage. And you, like, you can like cheese people down. Ooh. She jumped forward. Alright. Take my E right here. Should probably like jump in with the with the Q at some point now. I don't mind taking the damage. Oh, nice. It's gonna kill her right there. Well. Goodbye. Actually I think that she'll live. <laughs> Man, she lived through it. Hmm, not bad. Guess a little bit unlucky today. She's actually backing to teleport. It's fine though. It's okay. So the first thing that we're going to be buying in this uh, in this matchup here is definitely going to be uh, Hydra for sure. Now I've been recommending that on Olaf for decades at this point. Um, when you play Olaf, there's a different variety of builds that you can follow through. Um, as you can see in the recommendation, it's actually recommending your Strike Breaker. In my opinion, you're not really going Strike Breaker. Like most of the time, you're always going Tiamat into Hydra or just going Lifesteal Warhammer into Hydra. Strike Breaker is more like a secondary item thing. You can build the first item though. It's actually really nice, but like it's really matchup dependent. Most matchups don't need Strike Breaker early on. Okay, so now the it's going to be pretty simple. We're going to... Oh, I'm trolling. Lost that one. Now we're going to be uh, chunking her down with Qs. Then by the time that she gets really low HP, we just simply go for the all-in. And we should be able to win. She has no flash anymore, as you used that before. I think it's on the cooldown of like two min, I think. We'll see. The wave is in a really healthy spot for me because it forces Gwen to move up to me. Nice. Now you just gotta maintain it like this. This is like the perfect position because she must walk up to me right now to last it. And without the four stacks, she's actually really weak. Hmm. Nice. Well, guess we're not killing her today. I do have like potions and everything, so we're good to go. I can heal back up. That's one thing that Olaf is like really good at. Nice. Great. I honestly did not expect you we were going to kill Gwen right here. Because you got her like really low. Uh, but she was respecting the range and staying far away enough. So I'm kind of glad that we did. Little bit of advice here for you guys, by the way. When you're playing Olaf... You gotta remember this, your W is not just attack speed and the shield, but your W is also an auto reset, okay? This adds up to your damage, so... Let's go for that one real quick. She's gonna sell off these two. I will show you why, don't worry. So, um, in case you're not using that correctly, if you ever want to use your W, make sure you auto first, okay? If you don't auto attack first, you're going to be missing out on almost 80 to 100 damage based off of your AD. Um, you want to auto first all the time, then hit your W, 
because then it cancels it. Well, cancel. It just resets the auto. So you can, you know, auto W for two autos. It really adds up to your damage. If you don't do this, you're missing out. Now, the wave is bouncing my direction. So let's see where Gwen's going to go. She was roaming before. If that's the case, then I win. Okay. The wave is pushing into me. If she decides to roam right now, she will lose a lot of farm. Look. Yep. I'm going to keep on freezing. Lots of people right here would start pushing very bad. Because if you push with the wave being this massive, she will come back by the time it pushes. And then she's actually not going to lose anything. It's better to continuously freeze. Make sure that the wave goes down. Okay. Uh, too far away. This is not going to work. Whatever Nocturne wants to try and do does not work. So now there's like a pretty fancy like farming lead because we've been continuously freezing and not stopping it. Now we got to be a little careful. She's level 5. I'm level 7. But if she does reach level 6, then she could technically fight me. Because the wave is just too massive. She's probably in the brush right there. Now we hold it again. I'll use my W. I'll auto attack the wave a little bit. I'm going to auto the wave. For the healing. See, do you see how Gwen cannot play the matchup if I play like this? And now we start healing back. Look. Okay. I win. I'm trolling. <laughs> I missed it. Hmm. I could have killed that Gwen. I could have killed both, but I missed my Q, so I'm trolling. I'm going to start maxing W because I got a little tempo set up. Nice. Good try. I couldn't get the auto W reset. Unfortunately. Good. Now, as much as I'd like to go for play, I'm going to do it. There you go. Now I need to walk away. So I can beat Ivern. I can dive him. Is it good? No, it's not good. Because if Gwen comes back now and I kill Ivern, then she can push the wave out, get plates, and then I'm going to lose more, right? So we can kill him, but the trade-off isn't worth it. It's not. So it's better if you back off. We just buy our items. We come back stronger. And then, you know, by the time that this wave is going to bounce into me, I will already be there, and I'm not going to lose any farm. Plus, I have my items. I'm not risking anything. I'm not giving her plates. I'm just putting myself in a better position. If you also look very closely to the diff here, she's level 6. I'm level 8. That's a 2 level gap. She has Amplifying Tongue with Ruby Crystal D-Ring. Uh, I already have all this stuff. So it's a big difference, man. We can't really freeze that much anymore because we got Tiamat now. And I planned out for this. Don't worry about it. I've got a plan here. I'm going to shove this out. And we start to like farming between towers so we can force the game. This is one of the most fun things about Olaf. You get Tiamat and you start farming between towers. And like your lead will automatically expand itself. Okay. I've got that one. See? I've got a plate for doing absolutely nothing. Just pushing it. She can't fight me because I can heal back anyways. There you go. Wave is gone. Now we walk in the jungle here. We're gonna... Whoa. GG. Yeah, it doesn't matter if she gets kills. Does not matter. I get plates. I get waves. Everything. She gets a shutdown. This is still better, okay? This is still better for me. This is very, very, very bad for Gwen. It doesn't matter if she gets shut down. Because my XP, I'm getting way more XP from this. This is way better for me. I'm, uh, I'm purposely not going to take tower right now. I'm going to let this tower kill the wave so that Gwen is going to lose another wave. So we're chilling. I'm not touching the, I'm not touching tower right now. I want this wave to go down first. Maybe just a little bit. There you go. 
Nocturne is in position. If she walks in right now, then uh, we will beat her. Great. Let's go back. See? She went for the roam. She got a shot down. Is it worth it? No. Because there's, there's like a three level gap right now. She's level seven. Okay, I'm level 10. I already have my item. We're able to buy mercs right now. I think I'm actually going to knock on mercs. And just instead, I'm just going to go that one. And now we're going to start building into attack speed. Probably going to be like uh, either Stripe Breaker or Trinity Force. We'll see. And let's make it back. Maybe even go Horror Breaker. Horror Breaker is nice. Hey, Kral, thanks so much for the sub, Prime, man. Thank you for subbing. Welcome to the sub family. Thank you so much for subbing and like all the sub primes, guys. I really appreciate it. The might of Lockbar approaches. All right, check this out. So now she has uh, Leeching Leer with the stuff and I have Hydra already, so. Uh, this guy's building into MR, which makes sense because my half my team is all AP. Still though. It uh, doesn't necessarily help him. I'm actually kind of scared of Ivern here. So I'll be a little bit careful with how I walk up here. Just a little. It's okay if I take damage. I have healing on the champ itself. I've got healing on the on the build. It really does not matter. I'm going to ghost away because this Zed has like almost two items. He's more fed than I am. Okay. Interesting. I think he's trying to... I think Zed's still up here. Expect that he is. I think that she knows. I can tell that Zed is still up here, I think, because he's not appearing in mid lane. Hmm. He doesn't appear, so I don't know. Huh? He's all the way up there? What is he doing up there? Okay. Interesting. Oh. That wasn't very good. I'm going to steal the blue buff away. That blue buff is like perfect uh, in my eyes because I can just keep on repeating the same process. Great. Man, blue buff is broken on Olaf. You can consistently keep pushing leads this way. Let me show you what I mean. We've got the entire topside jungle, which means Ivern is not getting a z single jungle camp, okay? Every one of these jungle camps went down. That's gonna directly hit Ivern for the rest of the game. Like, that's a lot of XP that he's now missing. And we can uh, take the wave now. We can buy item, then come back even stronger. Great. I think I'm going to build Hole Breaker uh, just for Zed because Zed is an issue. Hmm. I can beat this guy. Uh, the only thing preventing me from like beating Gwen now is the, is the fact that Zed's like missing. Um, actually, Zed's going balling. Good to know. Let me push it out all the way, like that. And we start forcing power. Whatever, we don't catch him. That's okay. He will get away this time, not next time. Let's go back. Um, This time we're gonna be building, I think, I'm, yeah, I'm just gonna go Whore Breaker. I'll just go Hole Breaker. That's perfect for me. I'm gonna go into that one. I really like this item specifically for um, the movement speed. Always great to build if you're snowballing, you want to have the movement speed percentage. Okay. 
Okay. Let's move up here. Nice. Hmm. Three people in mid. Will she steal it? <laughs> That's one. <laughs> There's clearly a warden there, she knows. Hmm. Yeah, there's like several people coming top, so... Don't have much of a choice here. Hmm. I need like uh, 800 gold for Hallbreaker. If I have Hallbreaker, I can 1v9. Like, even harder. Again, like like most of them are missing. I see Janna and Ivor on the map. I just don't see Zed anywhere, so Zed could be in top. That's why I'm playing so safe. I want to know exactly where they are. Again, they're showing up. I just don't see Zed anywhere. I don't know where that guy is. Can't really play aggressive like that. Hmm. Oh, okay, Zed is in bot lane. Oh, he flashed away. Too bad. It's actually, another time that my opponent will flash away. Bit unfortunate. I actually miss like several kills like that because they always have to flash. Whatever. Well, back to doing the routine. I need like a little bit more to be able to buy a hole breaker. We're, we're getting pretty close here. I'm pretending like I'm backing. The second the vision runs out, I cancel the back. Hmm. Gwen is going to push the next one, probably. I'll take it immediately. Nice. Now I'll just do this. Like, we're not getting any objectives currently. Oh, they're all on the way. I think they're very much aware of what we're doing here. Dude, there's no Zed involved. Great. I'll take that. Nice. Good catch. Good catch. Fantastic. Now let's push that one. Using Herald. Amazing. There goes the other one. Yeah. Life of Zed, guys. When you have a fed Zed like this, there's not much you can do about it as Olaf. They jump in. You can't stop it. Gotta be consistent in what we're doing. Alright. Now let's get that hole breaker and then we start building probably into a Trinity Force. I probably will. Let's go. So Stripe Breaker is an awesome item. I really like Stripe Breaker on Olaf, but I think in, in this game where they have a Z like this, I don't think it's gonna it's gonna do something. But, like, Zed will always outplay me with the shadows. I think we're better off going Trinity. Slightly better in my case, because I can burst him slightly faster. Hmm. Okay, well, my ultimate doesn't... Ah, feels bad, man. Couldn't use my ultimate more, much more. Go through my Q better though. I don't think I can help anymore. Nice. 
There's not much more I can do. Okay, here we go again. This is a weird game because we're winning very hard as top lane, but we only have like two kills because like most of the kills that we had, they always flashed away in like some kind of way. Um, either way, this will result in a free dragon because they're dead for like 20 seconds, especially Zed. He's the most important. I could just force the dragon myself now. I'm all for it. Nice. No problem forcing this, really. Oh, they're gonna try and steal it. Ah. Nice. I just took the risk, I don't mind. I could drag the wave. Uh, I mean, drag the dragon, maybe. Maybe I could have done that, but like... I don't think Ivan could jump off anyways. I don't think so. More points in E. Amazing. So Zets is in bot lane. Let's move now. Zets is moving with me. I'll be there faster. He's actually staying in bot lane. Okay, nice. This is really good for me. GG. You know, that's what happens when you pay attention in the game, right? Nice. That's what happens when you pay attention in the game. I'll say it again. Set was in bot lane. I, and I saw it happening. Went for team fight. And that's it. Now we take this. Always pay attention in this game. If you see Zed in bot lane, you go for the fight, guys. Like, he's the only guy who's fed. If he's out of the fight, you win. Easy. Got that one. I've got no mana, so I just quickly uh, pick this up. So now, my teammates are going to have to be extremely careful, because I'm running bot lane right now. If they die, Baron is gone. So I hope that my teammates won't die here. I'll ping them away if needed. I need like uh, 400 gold to be able to buy my biggest power spike in my opinion, Trinity Force. Nice. I think I'm even going to be selling off D-Blade. Oh, seems like they're going Baron. No. Oh, let's just quickly go for the reset. Let's get this one. I need this jungle camp for the for the item. Okay, let's get that reset that we need. <clears throat> they're actually up here right now. Okay, now we can move Baron. I hope that my team doesn't die. If Zed dies, it's worth it. I prefer my ADC going down and seeing Zed go down with it. But I guess not. Nope, they get outplayed. We gotta wait for my teammates to come back here. Hmm. Could maybe even start it, who knows. It depends though. Uh, Gwen is bot lane. I think she has TP. Hmm. This is a risk. We're taking a big risk. Crazy big risk, but it works. Seems like Gwen does not react to what we're, whatever we're doing here, so... Yep, got him too. 
Nice. Maybe we can uh, continue going here. I got towers, man. I I I ran those towers down so quickly. So Nocturne was dying to the fight. I was just going for towers. <laughs> it worked so well, man. That was perfect. That was really good. Okay, I think I'm probably gonna go into. Um, I want to go Black Lever, but it's a better choice to go Dead Stands. Yeah, I'll probably go Dead Stands. Because then I get more raw damage and uh, armor against that specifically. That is like 16 kills, man. That guy is even more fat than I am. Like, and I'm already fed. Nocturne R, maybe? No, he can steal. It's fine. I think we can just run mid, kill everybody. Easy. Our team fight is better. Gwen's in bot lane. Eh, she might be overextending too, who knows. I'm not really scared of anyone uh, if they're inside the brush here. Right. I'll walk away from it because I think that Zed's behind it. Hmm. Told you. There was a Zed behind it. A very difficult game because our AD carry does not really play the game. Like, that's the only thing I want to mention to it. Our AD carry is playing like a top laner and split pushing the entire the entire day straight. Doesn't quite help very much. Wait. There you go, I just wrote down to this Ash to stop playing like a top laner and actually play the game. It would be nice to have Ash actually like playing as an AD carry. Like being on the being in a team fight is made way better than splitting as an ADC, because Zed can like walk in any day, press R on Ash, and he, this guy will always die. He doesn't stand the chance, even with this build. Zed's like almost maxed out. I think he can even in fact even beat me, because like I'm even I am weaker probably. I don't even think that I would live. That guy is just maxed out. I want to take care of that Ivern ultimate. There will be a Zed incoming. Oh, Zed dies? Oh man, that is absolutely GG. GG. Hey, this is Olaf Top. Thanks so much for watching. See you the video. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.